नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत सबुद्ध नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत सबुद्ध नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत सबुद्ध सब पापस अकर्ण कुशल उपसंपदा सचित पारियोदपण एक बुद्धान शासन थी डियर फ्रेंड्स ऑफ द धाम today we are having this opportunity to listen to the dhamma and discuss the dhamma with the initiation of venerable petigamuhe hemaratana nayaka mahathera the chief monk of red bridge buddhist vihara in east london and this meritorious deed is sponsored by mr ajant hindurangal and the family members so i say thanks to them all dhamma is most important fact most important fact into this life because dhamma is the guide which gives us many a guidelines for the success and dhamma is the torch light which shows us the proper path the proper way for the success of the life here and hereafter therefore as much as possible it is important to associate the dhamma practice the dhamma and also preach and teach the dhamma according to one's own understanding guide in the dhamma today the dhamma discussion is based on one of those famous stanzas from dhammapada as you all know dhammapada is the handbook of buddhist not only that actual saying dhammapada is the guide book for civilized society to build up civilized and cultured society dhammapada is spreading the light extending light therefore we are always trying to understand the stanzas the teaching given in dhammapada actually all those dhammapada uttered and preached by the buddha this particular stanza as i have recited first sabba papas akarana not to do any evil deeds not to practice any sinful activity kusalas upasampada achieve kusala perform kusala conduct kusala sachitta paryodapana subdue discipline your mind etang buddhana sasana this is the teaching of the buddha simply understand this particular dhamma it is very important to explain and analyze the word kusala once we understand this particular word kusala 
then it is easy to take the idea of whole. Literal meaning of the word kusala has been translated into English. There appeared few words to interpret this word kusala. In English it says, skill, able, expert, good, meritorious, tactful, so on. Tactful, skillful, able and all those positive activities are positive meanings are represented kusala and then just to understand simply i would like to mention one singhala saying in sri lanka it says upaya danno apaye no atiti which means one who knows the way out, one who is skillful or tactful, he achieves whatever he wants without being degraded, without being troubled or without being fallen into the hell. Upayadanno, one who is tactful, knows the way out and is skillful. Such a person fulfills his wishes without troubling himself and also troubling the others. He achieves his targets without being troubled. Such a person will never be born in a hell. This is the Dhamma. Actually, this is the real Dhammapada. What explained through this stanza. Skillful, kusala, tactful and clever. Clever for what? Tactful for what? To understand what is good and what is bad. This is the simple understanding on Kusala. What is good and what is bad? Of course, this is an ethical problem. There are many such ethical arguments are going on and interpretations and commentaries are written to explain. However, normally what we do to know what is good and what is bad, we consult our religion. That is the general practice. People used to consult their religion. Then they say, according to our religion, this is good and that is bad. Because of our religion says this is good, I follow. And then if it is not, I avoid it. This is the normal way of practicing. Is it good? It is correct. Now, we have to observe and also scrutinize and go through and analyze whether this concept is correct or not. Religious interpretation on good and bad whether you see it is okay or not. In this regard, we understand religions are based on what? Religions are based on belief. Belief is the most important part. In all those religions, then you may have some other questions also at the same time about Buddhism. I come later to this 
idea, to explain this idea. However, almost all the religions are based on belief. Belief, how can it be? Whether it is good or bad, how can we define? Belief is considered wrong. Why? Belief always mix with doubt. Belief always mix with doubt. Certain percentage of doubt is there. That is why I believe or you believe. As an example, let us think. One used to say, today is cloudy day, black cloud floating here and there. Today it may rain. I believe today it rain. Concerning those environmental factors, one come to this belief, today it will rain. That is the belief. But it can be happen or not. It will rain or it would not be rain. That is the nature of belief. Some people used to say, that is haunted house. They are a haunting always. Ghosts are haunting there. Don't go nearer. That is haunted house. That is a belief. Instead of that, I used to say like this and another sentence. Tomorrow morning sun rises in the east. Sun rises tomorrow morning in the east. What is this sentence? No one says, I believe tomorrow sun rises. No. No need to believe because why? It is one's understanding. If I say tomorrow sun rises, that is my understanding. I don't want to believe or mix with doubt. It is my own understanding. If someone is having such understanding, that understanding is based on his own knowledge. Knowledge is not spontaneous. It comes through teachers, parents, books, or his own experiences, or his own experiments, Knowledge is such. He comes to certain understanding based on his knowledge, then he is very firm. No doubt, definite, he is having that understanding. He is still unshaken on his own feet. With this understanding, no one can challenge. He says, Sure, tomorrow sun rises. See the difference in between belief and knowledge. Belief and understanding. Understanding is more stronger, firm. Therefore, understanding is, of course, it must be the way for our own activities. Belief, most of the time, most of the time, belief is guiding people towards ignorance. Not only ignorance, it is very dangerous experiences. Belief, most of the time, lead people towards violences. Those religious belief implemented many such violences throughout the history. All of us know that so-called holy wars, it is on belief. 
दे किल थाउजेंड्स ऑफ मिलियंस ऑफ पीपल ब्लड सेड ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड बिकॉज ऑफ सो कॉल्ड होली वॉज दोज पीपल यूज टू थिंक वी आर बिलीवर्स द अदर्स आर नॉन बिलीवर्स then they used to say believers we are right then non believers are deserve to be killed deserve to be tortured deserve to be cheated this is the way of belief not only that many millions of animals are also being tortured and killed because of this belief religious belief they think animals are created for our own use for our own consumption animals have no sense they don't have life they are deserve to be killed to appease the god then they killed almost all those religious ceremonies are decorated by blood of innocent animals and flesh of innocent animal actually if someone believe that the god or such almighty power can be happy with the flesh or you are offering the better way is proper way is to offer your own things not the stolen things if you want to offer flesh better you offer not that innocent animals flesh better you offer your own flesh maybe there is a logic but you are stealing the others property that mean animals lives then you used to offer it is very very wrong this is the way of belief even today we know everywhere terrorism bomb blast killing those innocent people and destroying properties each and every time they do these things and shout in slogans religious slogans they shout they think that we are serving their god we are real religious people working accordingly they sacrifice sometimes themselves this is the danger of belief dear friends of the dhamma this is to be understood the wrong end that extreme end of belief is almost all the time we are being deceived we are being guided towards ignorance therefore buddha rejected this particular practice what you call belief buddha instead of believe he introduced an another practice let us see as you all know buddhist teaching is to be followed for what buddhist teaching buddha's guiding guidelines are to be followed in order to overcome suffering overcome miserable experiences and to achieve peace harmony happiness within this particular life and also hereafter then this particular dhamma with the 
अल्टीमेट विश ओ अल्टीमेट अटेनमेंट दैट इज अटेनमेंट ऑफ रियलाइजेशन इन लाइटमेंट इन ऑर्डर टू अचीव दिस एन लाइटमेंट बुद्ध ऑल्सो प्रिस्क्राइब द वे द पाथ टू स्टेप ऑन विच इज कॉल आर्यो अट्ठांगिको मग्गो एट फोल्ड पाथ एट फोल्ड पाथ द पाथ द वे विच हैज एट स्टेप्स इट इज जस्ट लाइक अ डॉक्टर having seen having met the person doctor assure that there will be a solution cure for that purpose you have to follow these instructions take this medicine follow the instructions step by step one day you will receive the ultimate result buddha also as a doctor prescribe the way the practical way the practical way is eight fold path eight fold path what is the first step first step is samaditi samaditi right understanding there is no room for belief right understanding then it goes on samma ditti samma sankap samma vacha samma kammant samma aajiv samma vayam samma sati samma samadhi this eight fold path is begun with samma ditti proper understanding real understanding right understanding this is the kusala this is the kusala when samaditi is explained in samaditi sutta most venerable arahant sariputta explain samaditi is the kusala having kusala for what to understand what is good and what is bad to follow samaditi understanding and we have to at first get realization on good and bad then what is good and bad the sutta explain whatever action which is based on impure thoughts defile thought they are considered bad deeds or bad words what are those defile thoughts raga dvesha moha craving lust are considered raga dvesha mean anger aversion hatred ill will and so on and then those are moha mean ignorance whatever such defiled thoughts are based such activity is considered wrong and then very simple way which is harmful to myself and which is harmful to yourself one self and others those activities those words of course those thoughts are wrong and then vice versa the good thoughts pure thoughts are based such works such activity words are considered good this is simple explanation of what is good and what is bad but it is not a belief it is understanding once the samaditi is to be practiced once you get into the path you are suppose 
to be in the moral activity, moral life, morality is to be practiced. That means sila. Sila means discipline or following the disciplinary code as what the prescribed by the Buddha. And all those Buddhists are supposed to be in this path of sila, which means subdue and control your physical and vocal activity. Panchasila based. The basement is Panchasila, the fundamental practice. Panchasila, the five precepts are prescribed. These five precepts are supposed to be practiced. And then, to come to this practice, no need to have any belief. Instead of that, we must understand these five precepts, whether they are good or bad, whether they are kusala or akusala. See, Panadi Pata Veramani, Adinna Dana Veramani, Kame Sumicha Chara Veramani, so on. Abstain from killing, abstain from violence, abstain from stealing, abstain from sexual misconduct, abstain from lying, abstain from intoxication. These precepts, these practices, can be considered as good without any belief. No need to be in any of those religious follower. No need to consult any religious leader or religious book to understand this truth. Once as the late most venerable Dhamma Ananda Nayaka Mahathera explained, to understand this nature, the reality, I better withdraw my Buddha. I better withdraw my religious identity or Buddhist identity. You please withdraw your God and your own religious identity. Let us use common sense. Very clear. To understand this truth, no need to consult any religious teaching. These are good. So, it should not be a religious identity with religious branded practice, but it is universal practice. It is universal law. Hold the universe not only human being, but also all the living beings, all of them are happy with these practices. That is why it is considered good. Then, Samaditi is such. There is no room for belief, but there is a full of knowledge. It is wisdom. We are being guided towards the wisdom and enlightenment. Dear friends, therefore, kusalasa upasampada mean achieve kusala ability, skill, tactfulness, and cleverness to understand this particular truth. This is my own understanding. It is unshakable understanding. And again, Buddhist theory of karma. How this world is governed? This world is governed by the natural theory. It is the theory of nature. Theory of nature is recognized in Buddhism with the name karma. Kamma theory. 
what is this karma as you all know simply we explain karma in various ways but one is we consider about newton's second theory every action is having its own reaction are you compelled you are insisted to understand but the buddha our teacher has gone beyond this particular theory of physics it is okay with theory of physics but buddha has given a spiritual meaning a spirituality buddha has explained further not all those actions not mere action but all those volitional actions are producing reaction which is called karma which is called karma all those volitional activities volition is the mental faculty according to its nature good volitional faculties bad volitional faculties create the result good result or bad result therefore chetana hang bikave kammam vadami of course every action is producing reaction simply we understand this theory as karma theory no need to believe this is not a belief this is my own understanding i had this experience in our day to day life you are always if you pay attention if you pay proper attention enough attention you can find out the story you can find out incident as what i heard once there was very clever carpenter he used to build up very beautiful stable houses one day this carpenter had a thought i better retire now because i have been working so hard very very tired now i better now stop then he approached the master then having heard master was shocked he suggested no no my dear friend you can work you are having such a skill still carry on your good work then the carpenter said no sir i want to enjoy my children grandchildren i want to enjoy my own household life please let me go but the master insisted okay then please build up one only house this is the last house i don't want to trouble you last house please one then carpenter say yes he thought if i build this properly this house properly master urge again and he insisted he will insist again to build an another one i want to get rid of this activity i want to have my own retirement peace and my own time with my family members therefore what the carpenter did he built up this house anyhow without using proper materials proper way of engineering proper instructions he just built this house anyhow he knew very well this house will last not last in long but however very quickly he built up house and then came to the master hand over the key sir the work is done then master with very respectful way very respectfully key is returned back 
he was given back handed over to the carpenter carpenter was surprised so why no my dear friend you have been working so hard you make my company very popular very stable with your good work and then this is my gift i don't want to send you with empty handed therefore please accept this is yours my gift what happened carpenter knew the work is not well done it will not last in long he had done it really he is the one who knows in and out but what to do he could not refuse it he had to receive the key the ownership of his own work this is the way what we experience day to day life in our day to day life we have to be gifted it is a gift it is my own authority to receive it whatever good or bad work so not to believe but to understand this reality this is the law of nature this is this the theory of the nature once we understand with proper knowledge then i can guide my life towards the enlightenment with the guidelines of the dhamma let us try to apply this method understand in method right understand in method through kusala with this understanding you may gain enlightenment in this life in this particular life ultimately we will achieve the everlasting bliss of nibbana bhavatu sabba mangalam rakhantu sabba devata sabba buddha anubhavena sabba dhamma anubhavena sabba sangha anubhavena sada sutthi bhavantu te sukhi hotu sukhi hotu sukhi hotu